What's going on guys? It's your boy CJ here and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod that I found quite some time ago that I tried out one time and for some reason or other I got distracted and never ever even tried the mod again. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install ALPR traffic cameras. ALPR traffic cameras. So let's get right into this guys and girls. Click the link in the description below. It's going to bring you this page right here. This is done by OJ Does It who's been around the community for a very very long time so big shout out to OJ does it for this mod now guys it's been a long time since I've tried this mod it's been updated since I believe um, this is ALPR traffic cameras which if you if you read that title it is what it says it is it's ALPR traffic cameras on traffic lights uh, so I thought I'd add some good immersion of the game and a little bit more realism so let's go ahead and if you guys will read down there I always encourage everyone to read the descriptions of these mods um, just like right here guys it tells you the installation path make sure to put ALPR traffic cameras DLL and ALPR traffic cameras INI and ALPR traffic cameras PDP into plugins LSPFR folder so what does this mean this means that you open up your main directory like this and you double click on plugins you double click on LSPFR and you drop those three files that he told you to drop right here okay so let's go. I'm going to go back to my main directory here real quick, guys, and I'll show you again here in a minute. What we want to do is click download the file here. Click agree and download. And we want the 2.2.0. Okay, so you want this one right here, guys and girls. That's the one you want. Put it somewhere where you know to get to it. Let's go back to our desktop and open up our WinRAR here. All right, and there is the three files that we're going to need right here. Now, you don't need the readme. If you want to open that up, guys, and look through it, uh, in here it will tell you... Um, to, I believe it shows the uh, yes right here it is guys the installation pathway right here guys there's your installation pathway right here plugins LSP far photo that's your installation pathway so here's what we want to do pull up our your main pull up your main directory guys and girls and in your main directory you should be in Steam Steam Apps Common Grand Theft Auto 5 it's where you should be right now in your main game directory in your main game directory you want to go to plugins then you want to navigate to LSP far and then you want to go over to your WinRAR and you want to highlight every file in there and then hold down your control key and deselect the readme. You do not need the readme. I see so many content creators saying, let's just highlight everything and throw it in there. And then, bam, before you know it, you've got readmes, you've got info texts, you've got documentation in there, and your game is messing up. And that's why you're watching the wrong content creators. Right here is where it's happening at, guys. Here. Jeffrey Gamer, Benzo Effect channel. That's the channels that you guys want to watch if you want to install your LSPFR correctly, okay? You have my word. You have my word. Take those three files, guys. Your ALPR traffic cameras DLL, your ALPR traffic cameras INI, and your ALPR traffic cameras PDP, all right? Grab those three files, and at this point in your directory, you should be in. Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins LSPFR. That's the pathway you should be in right now, okay? No excuses to come back and say, well, I put it in the wrong pathway. Well, you should have watched the whole video. Quit skipping through my videos. All right? Highlight three files, pull them into your plugins in LSPDFR. Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins LSPFR is where you should be at. Pull them in here and drop them in, okay? Now let's refresh, close out of our WinRAR, and get rid of that shortcut, okay? Now we are going to. Go into the INI file right here, which is your configuration setting. Open that up for your LPR traffic cameras. Let's get this real big so we can see it. And uh, all of this, guys, is going to be customizable inside the game. So we're going to open up the in-game menu, which if we scroll down, you will see that right here, guys, is your uh, toggle key for your menu. It's going to be your control key D, all right? So control key D. So left control D right there, all right? That's going to be your menu buttons okay and that's what we're going to leave it at we're not going to change it we're going to leave it just the way it is we're going to go back to our main directory refresh and we're going to go in the game and we'll show you guys exactly how this mod works let's go all right guys so it is show time ladies and gentlemen so here's what we're going to do i'm going to pull over here real quick and we're going to hop out of the car and we're going to go ahead and hit left control D. D is in David. Left control D. It's going to bring that camera up. I mean that menu. Sorry guys. That menu right there. And before we enable everything, let's go ahead and check out some of the settings. Okay. So let's check out the main settings. Uh, enable notification. We want that on. And disable cameras when busy. 
Uh, you know, I think we'll keep that on. That seems to be good. And this is going to change. Looks like to change the color of your menu is what it is. Uh, cyan is beautiful. I love the color cyan. It's like one of my favorite colors besides blue. Uh, so you guys can change this to whatever color you like, whatever your heart desires. Um, I, I want to make sure I keep mine. I As much as I do like cyan, I don't know if I can possibly uh, see that or not because it is a bit bright. Yeah, we'll keep it right there. That's fine. Uh, driver flags. So the percentage of chance of producing a hit notification for a flagged driver. Now, I can't really quite remember, guys, if this, um, if it makes a blip uh, when a car runs through. So it pretty much picks up cars that have, like, expired license, expired registration, wanted suspects, I believe, stuff like that. But I don't know if it actually blips the car. I think you have to get over there in time and find the car yourself. But don't hold me to that because it has been updated. Uh, so let's go back. Hit backspace. It's going to radar settings, guys. Uh, disable camera blips. Yeah, we want the camera blips on. Enable vehicle. Oh, okay, so he did, he did update it. Nice. There is a vehicle blip. So very nice. Um, hit blip color. Uh, we'll do red. Area blip color. We're going to change that because that's going to be. I'm going to show you guys something on your map here in just a minute. Uh, we'll make, we'll go ahead and, uh, I'm going to make mine green. All right. And then we're going to go back and we are going to enable the cameras by clicking on that. And then if you exit out of that and go into your map, you will see a bunch of green or whatever color you change it to, uh, cameras all around your map. And these are your ALPR cameras. Okay. So when cars go to the traffic lights, and they have a suspended license or expired registration or they're suspect wanted, um, then the camera will hit and it will let you know. Now, I want to see how this works. It's been updated. I'm very curious, but we're going to hop in. Remember, guys, you can edit. You can edit your settings right here if you want them to hit more often. Um, you can go here to driver flags hit percentage, the percentage uh, chance of producing a hit notification for a flag driver. So you can actually raise this up a little bit if you wanted to. I'm going to put mine on about probably, because uh, I want to get quite a few hits. I'm going to do, how high will it go? Like 100? Let's see. Okay. So there we go. License suspended and it blipped the vehicle. I'm going to put mine back down on 50. All right. So we got a vehicle over here with license suspended, which is going to be this. Uh, tells you right there, it's a, it's a black Fudo, which wherever he went. All right, and then right here, we've got uh, the blaze red. Uh, I, I believe it's Issy right here in front of us, right here. So yeah, 50 is going to be a little bit too high. I think I'm going to bring that down, probably back down about 40, maybe 35 or 40. Uh, but that's that's pretty much how it works, guys. It just picks up, uh, you know, suspended license. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, I think it said suspect 101. I might be mistaken about that. Uh, that's pretty much it, I believe. Let me pull that menu up one more time. And we're going to... Let's raise that back up because now it's not hitting no more. So we'll put it on like 70. I just want to see how high it'll go. I want to see how high it's going to go. I think it's 100. I think it's 100 max. Yeah, 100 max. Someone put mine on like 70 because I want to get a lot of hits. Uh, put it like right there. And that's pretty much it, guys. And there goes the cameras right there. Again, if you want to disable them... You come in here and you can just disable the cameras like that and they will go off your map. Uh, but that is uh, that is pretty much it. There goes the license suspended right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a Granger Feltzer Brown, uh, which is going that way right there. That's going to be him. Let's go ahead and actually go go pull him over real quick. So let's find that, let's find that brown Granger. This is going to be him right here. It's going to be our Granger. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to stop him and stop the pad here. Wait up. Hold up, my man. Hey, my guy. Uh, one sec. Just don't move. Stay right there. Just so let's see if he's actually got what they said he had. Dispatch, give me a 1027. Justin Jakinski. Dispatch requesting pad check. Is required. Negative. 
All right, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna pull him up in the system real quick. Looks don't think he's got anything on him, but uh, sometimes the the stuff like that is not always gonna go together, and that's just the nature of the beast with LSPFR. So I'm gonna pull him up my tablet here real quick and check him out. Check out his records. Yeah, so I think he had a suspended license, but it's not showing it here. But that's perfectly okay. Man, get lost, Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe and you smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all. So you never miss any future content or live streams. We do live stream a lot here on the Coleman Joe's channel, guys. Mondays and Tuesdays, uh, we live stream Farm Sim 22 on Wednesdays and Thursdays. We do LSP Farm Patrols. Thursdays, sometimes it's a random game. And Fridays, we do Friday Night Fortnite with myself and Chris Roman. Everything, all those streams, guys, take place at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out.